Imagine one of India's largest public sector banks being defrauded by a single client, resulting in a multi-billion dollar scam. This is exactly what happened in the Punjab National Bank scam, which shook the Indian banking industry to its core. In this video, we'll dive deep into the shocking details of the scam, including how it was executed, the key players involved, and the aftermath that sent shockwaves throughout the country. Join us as we explore one of the biggest banking scandals in India's history. The Punjab National Bank Scam, also known as the Nirav Modi Scam, was a massive banking fraud that took place in India in 2018. In this video, we will take a detailed look at the scam, the people involved, and the aftermath of the incident. Punjab National Bank is one of India's largest public sector banks, with a network of over 7,000 branches and a customer base of over 100 million. The bank was established in 1894 and has been a cornerstone of India's banking system for over a century. The bank has a reputation for being a reliable and trustworthy institution that provides a wide range of financial services to its customers. In early 2018, the bank discovered that it had been defrauded by one of its top clients, the diamond merchant Nirav Modi. Modi was a well-known figure in the Indian business world, and he had a reputation for being a successful and savvy entrepreneur. He had built a multi-billion dollar empire that included several high-end jewelry brands, and he was widely regarded as one of India's richest men. However, the discovery of the PNB scam changed all that. It revealed that Modi had allegedly used fraudulent means to obtain loans from PNB and other banks, and that he had used the money to fund his extravagant lifestyle. The scam caused a sensation in India and around the world, and it sparked a wave of outrage among the public and the media. The Punjab National Bank Scam also known as the Nirav Modi scam, involved the fraudulent issuance of letters of undertaking, LOUs, by PNB officials to Nirav Modi and his associates. The LOUs were issued for the purpose of obtaining loans from overseas banks, without any collateral or guarantees. It is alleged that Modi and his associates used these funds to finance their lavish lifestyle, which included the purchase of luxury cars, yachts, and properties in India and abroad. The scam is estimated to be worth over $1.8 billion and is believed to have been carried out over a period of several years. The discovery of the scam in early 2018 sent shockwaves through India's banking sector and triggered a major investigation by Indian authorities. The LOUs were essentially a form of credit guarantee, which enabled Modi and his associates to obtain loans from overseas banks by providing a guarantee of payment from PNB. However, these guarantees were issued fraudulently by PNB officials, without the proper procedures being followed or collateral being provided. The funds obtained through these loans were then allegedly siphoned off by Modi and his associates, who used them to purchase high-end luxury goods and properties. The scale of the scam was enormous, and its impact was felt not just within India but also in other countries where Modi had business interests. Several overseas banks were implicated in the scam, including the Hong Kong branch of the State Bank of India, which reportedly issued several loans to Modi's companies based on the fraudulent LOUs. The fallout from the scam was significant, with several high-profile individuals being arrested, including Modi and his uncle, Mehul Choksi, who is also a diamond merchant. The scam also resulted in the resignation of the PNB CEO, Sunil Mehta. The Indian government launched an investigation into the scam, and several regulatory and oversight reforms were introduced to prevent similar incidents from occurring in the future. Despite the reforms and investigations, questions still remain about the systemic issues that allowed the scam to take place. Critics have pointed to the lack of oversight and accountability within India's banking sector, as well as the culture of corruption that exists within some institutions. The Punjab National Bank scam serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of unchecked corruption and the need for stronger regulatory oversight and accountability measures to prevent such incidents from happening again in the future. The evidence against Nirav Modi and his associates is extensive and includes a range of documents, communications, and other materials that were seized by Indian authorities during their investigations into the Punjab National Bank scam. Some of the key pieces of evidence that were uncovered are outlined here. One of the most damning pieces of evidence against Nirav Modi and his associates are emails that were exchanged between them and PNB officials. These emails reveal that Modi's companies were able to obtain LOUs from PNB officials without any collateral or guarantees. The emails also reveal that PNB officials were aware that the LOUs were being issued without proper due diligence, and that they were being used to obtain loans from overseas banks. The emails show that Modi's companies were able to use these loans to fund their operations and invest in new projects. 
Bank statements were also a key piece of evidence in the PNB scam. These statements show that funds were transferred from overseas banks to Modi's companies and that the loans obtained through the fraudulent LOUs were used to finance a lavish lifestyle. The bank statements reveal that the funds were used to purchase luxury cars, yachts, and properties in India and abroad. They also show that the funds were used to pay for private jets and other expenses related to Modi's business operations. The seizure of luxury cars, properties, and other assets belonging to Nirav Modi and his associates was another important piece of evidence in the PNB scam. These assets were seized by Indian authorities during their investigations, and they provide further proof of the extent of Modi's wealth and the lavish lifestyle that he was able to maintain through the fraudulent loans. Some of the assets seized included luxury cars such as Rolls Royces and Bentleys, properties in India and abroad, and a yacht that was worth several million dollars. The seizure of these assets helped to confirm the scale of the fraud that had been perpetrated by Modi and his associates, and it highlighted the need for greater oversight and regulation in India's banking sector. The evidence against Nirav Modi and his associates in the Punjab National Bank scam is extensive and compelling. It includes emails, bank statements, and the seizure of assets that were purchased with the proceeds of the fraudulent loans. The evidence shows that Modi's companies were able to obtain loans through fraudulent means, and that they were able to use these loans to finance a lavish lifestyle. The evidence also highlights the need for greater transparency and oversight in India's banking sector, and it underscores the importance of ensuring that proper due diligence is carried out before loans are issued. Overall, the evidence against Nirav Modi and his associates in the PNB scam is a stark reminder of the dangers of financial fraud and the need for greater vigilance and regulation in the global financial system. The Punjab National Bank scam had far-reaching consequences, not just for the bank and its customers, but for the entire Indian financial system. The fallout from the scam was significant, with several high-profile individuals being arrested, including Nirav Modi and his uncle, Mehul Choksi, who is also a diamond merchant. The scam also resulted in the resignation of the PNB CEO, Sunil Mehta. Impact on PNB the Punjab National Bank suffered significant financial losses as a result of the scam. In February 2018, PNB disclosed that it had been defrauded of nearly $1.8 billion by Nirav Modi and his associates. The bank's share price also took a hit, falling by over 30% in the days following the announcement of the scam. The scandal also damaged the bank's reputation, with many customers losing faith in its ability to safeguard their funds. The bank was forced to take a number of steps to restore public confidence, including strengthening its internal controls and increasing its oversight of its lending practices. The PNB scam had a significant impact on the Indian financial system as a whole. The scandal exposed weaknesses in the regulatory and oversight framework that allowed fraudulent activities to go undetected for so long. It also highlighted the need for greater transparency and accountability in the banking sector. In response to the scam, the Indian government launched an investigation into the matter and introduced several regulatory and oversight reforms aimed at preventing similar incidents from occurring in the future. These reforms included the creation of a new regulatory body, the National Financial Reporting Authority, NFRA, which is responsible for overseeing the accounting and auditing professions in India. Critics have argued that these reforms are not enough to address the systemic issues that allowed the PNB scam to take place. They point to the need for greater transparency and accountability in the banking sector, as well as the need for stronger penalties for those found guilty of financial fraud. Nirav Modi was one of the main culprits in the PNB scam, and the fallout from the scandal had significant consequences for him. Following the discovery of the fraud, Modi fled India and was eventually arrested in London in March 2019. He is currently fighting extradition to India, where he faces charges of fraud and money laundering. In addition to facing criminal charges, Modi's reputation has also taken a hit. He was once a celebrated figure in the world of high-end jewelry, with clients that included Hollywood stars and members of the British royal family. However, following the discovery of the fraud, his brand has been tarnished, and many of his customers have cut ties with him. The PNB scam was a major blow to the Indian financial system and exposed weaknesses in the regulatory and oversight framework that need to be addressed. The fallout from the scam was significant, with several high-profile individuals being arrested, and the reputations of both PNB and Nirav Modi being severely damaged. While reforms have been introduced to prevent similar incidents from occurring in the future, critics argue that more needs to be done to address the systemic issues that allowed the scam to take place. It remains to be seen whether these reforms will be effective in restoring public confidence in the banking sector and preventing future frauds. 
The Punjab National Bank scam was a significant event that shook India's banking sector and highlighted the need for greater transparency, accountability, and regulatory oversight. The scam, which involved fraudulent issuance of LOUs by PNB officials in collusion with diamond merchant Nirav Modi and his associates, resulted in a loss of over 14,000 rupees crore for the bank. The fallout from the scam was significant, with several high-profile individuals being arrested, including Modi and his uncle, Mehul Choksi, who is also a diamond merchant. The scam also resulted in the resignation of the PNB CEO, Sunil Mehta. The Indian government launched an investigation into the scam, which led to the arrest of several individuals involved in the fraud. Modi and Choksi, who had fled the country, were eventually arrested in foreign countries and are currently facing extradition to India to face charges in connection with the scam. The scam also led to several regulatory and oversight reforms being introduced to prevent similar incidents from occurring in the future. The Reserve Bank of India, RBI, issued several circulars to banks, tightening their internal controls and procedures for issuing LOS and other instruments. The Securities and Exchange Board of India, SEBI, also introduced new regulations to strengthen corporate governance and prevent frauds in the capital markets. However, many critics have questioned whether these measures are enough to address the systemic issues that allowed the scam to take place. There are concerns that the collusion between PNB officials and Modi's associates was facilitated by a lack of oversight and a culture of impunity within the banking sector. The government has also faced criticism for not doing enough to hold accountable those responsible for the scam and for not taking sufficient measures to prevent similar incidents from occurring in the future. The fallout from the Punjab National Bank scam has also had wider implications for the diamond industry in India. The industry, which is a major contributor to India's exports and foreign exchange earnings, has faced greater scrutiny from regulatory authorities and international banks in the wake of the scam. Some experts have warned that the fallout from the scam could lead to a loss of investor confidence in the industry and have a long-term impact on its growth and development. In conclusion, the Punjab National Bank scam was a significant event that exposed the weaknesses in India's banking sector and highlighted the need for greater transparency, accountability, and regulatory oversight. While the fallout from the scam has been significant, it remains to be seen whether the lessons learned will be enough to prevent similar incidents from occurring in the future. It is clear, however, that the scam has had wider implications for India's economy and the diamond industry, and has underscored the need for greater vigilance and oversight across all sectors. The Punjab National Bank scam was a devastating blow to India's banking system and a stark reminder of the need for greater transparency and oversight in the financial sector. While significant measures have been taken to prevent similar incidents from occurring in the future, the fallout from the scam continues to be felt throughout the country. Through a detailed examination of the evidence and the wider context in which the scam took place, we can gain a deeper understanding of the complex factors that led to this significant incident. It is only through ongoing vigilance, accountability, and reform that we can hope to prevent such a tragedy from happening again. Thank you for watching this video on the Punjab National Bank scam. We hope this in-depth exploration of the issue has provided you with valuable insights into one of the biggest financial scandals in India's history. Please feel free to leave a comment with your thoughts or questions, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content on the latest news and developments from around the world. Thank you for watching.